Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Hi. Your faces right. here tonight. It's really good to be here, as they say. <laughs> you guys, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do all new material tonight. All yeah. brand new material. All right. That's right. Thank you. That, that I've been working on for five years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Deep tracks. I want, I want to talk about comedy tonight. Um, that's going to be my my seven minutes. Or um, you know, I uh, five years ago. It's been five years that I decided I'm going to give this a shot. This is what I've always wanted to do. It's my dream, and it's been five years now. That's right. Thank you. Good yes. job. Jeff. <laughs> You know, you, you crawl and you beg for every dirty little open mic that you can. This is not one of them. This is like, honest to God, man, this is like one of my favorite open mics. This this is a great one. Yeah. Yeah. You can talk about what you want. You can do what you want. This is fantastic. And this is what they all should be like. But a lot of them are just at dirty dive bars. And, and you go on up and you wait in line. And you are so thankful to get your three minutes for no applause for four people. You know, and, uh, and and you're grateful, right? And you do this, and then somebody says, "Hey, how would you like to host the show at the Dirty Dive Bar with four people?" And you are grateful for that, okay? And you work your way up, you know, and and then pretty soon somebody says, "I'm going to give you five minutes at the Dirty Dive Bar," you know, and, and you are so happy, you know, and and then somebody comes to you and says, "You know what? I'm going to give you three minutes." at a decent open mic. And, and it, you just keep building yourself up like that. And, and I'm so grateful every time, you know, and because and it's weeks in between every single session. And pretty soon you, you're you like, you're hosting at, a, at an actual comedy club. You're the lowest position, they call it. The lowest position is the host, all right? And that's the guy who gets the show going, gets the people happy. The middle position is the guy's called the feature. He does about a half an hour. And then the final guy is the headliner, and he's, he's why everybody's there, right? And, uh, and, and that's what you dream of, just working your way up. And I, I remember I got my first big hosting gig, and it was at a really good club in town. It was one of the best clubs in town. And I was so proud of myself. And, and I called my dad, and my dad and I, we don't get along. And uh, I was like, Dad, I really want you to come out and see what I've been working on. And, uh, and he said, you know, uh, I'm, I'm busy that weekend. And I looked, and I said, Dad, I haven't even told you what it is yet. You know? <laughs> and I, yeah, that's, that's our relationship. And uh, so, so he called me up. He said, all right, I'll come. I suppose I'll do this for you. Literally, I'll do this for you. And um, about a half an hour before showtime, big club, big thing for me, he called me up, and uh, he said, uh, well, we're running late. We're going to be about half an hour, 45 minutes late. Okay. I want you to talk to the owner of the club and tell him you want to switch positions in the show. <laughs> Swear to God, I wish I was making this up. <laughs> I said, Dad, no, I, I can't do that. Okay. I am the host. I start the show. And he said to me, he says, well, if you're not going to agree to compromise, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. And, uh, <laughs> like, Dad. And, so, and then he called me and says, you know what, uh, we're running an hour late. Can you talk to that, what do you call that guy, a headliner? Can you uh, switch positions with him tonight? <laughs> and I thought, I'm not gonna. I, 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 I'm not gonna tell you who the headliner was. He was very famous. He was really famous. I just call him Bill Cosby. Everybody knows Bill Cosby. And I'm not gonna go to Bill Cosby and say, "Hey, Bill, you know, uh, it's a big night for me here tonight. And, uh, my dad's running late. Do you mind hosting the show for me? You know." So, uh, so he was late. He didn't show up. And uh, I don't have a joke there. I'm just still really pissed. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at uh, I'm at the point I think in uh, my career I call myself an um, uh, I'm a beginning feature comic and I really I'm hesitate to even call myself anything because comics are really we debate that should you even call yourself a comic you know and and are you a comic when you start the open mic are you a comic when you start getting paid. When are you a comic? And it's, a, it's, it's I'm obsessed with it myself. I don't, I don't even want to call myself a comic because 
I make, I made, I made thirty-five hundred dollars in comedy last year, you guys. Thirty-five hundred dollars. That's right. All right. And I'm pretty goddamn proud of that, you know. And, but that's nothing, is it? You know. But that's, I think that's not bad for art. You're not bad. But um, thank you. Um, so I'm an entry-level feature comic, which means that uh, I travel all the Midwest doing comedy gigs in little towns that nobody's ever heard of, including myself. And uh, uh, last weekend, I was in Crestbard, South Dakota. Okay, wow. population 104. Okay, yeah. great headliner. I, you know, my job was to feature for him. I was really proud of that. And we're driving down the road six hours to get there. And he, and this poor guy, he's been doing this for 15 years. And he knew every single stop along the way. He, he knew, honest to God, he was like. That, that gas station there, let's stop here because they use real chicken in their chicken McNuggets. And so, so we did. That, that was like the highlight of the drive. <laughs> I wish I was making it up. So we showed up to this little place, um, and uh, they had 91 people come out. And this is a little tiny prairie town in the middle of nowhere, you know? 91 people. They're really excited. Okay, the headliner's gone. Oh my fucking god, 90 people! Like, and uh, I'm excited, you know. And uh, it was so many people for this little bar. They had to have it in the comedy show in the post office. Okay, wow. all right. Yeah, we're wow. in the back of the post office, and uh, and the people were so they were great. They were really great small town folk. It was one of those kind of towns where the the guys and the audience, everybody's wearing cowboy hats or or fishing hats. I swear to God, I had a, a guy come up to me and say, this was a very special occasion for me. I put on my nicest hunting jacket. You know, like, <laughs> and, <I'm, I'm, laughs> and he did. Everybody was hunting jacket. They were great. I have no complaints. They're, they're wonderful. They, they get no entertainment, so they, they had a good time. Um, how, how much time do I have left? 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Well, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a jokey joke to end this. And... Um, this is a joke I like to tell, and I told this for all these hunting people out there. Um, I think that um, all those crazy people out there that uh, want to buy guns to kill people are ruining it for the rest of us normal people that want to buy guns to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm Jeff Crow. Thank you very much. <laughs>